Hello YouTube. For some reason I'm having a rough time today. This is take number three. I'm trying to show my collection, uh, or what I have in my collection of small knives. Neck knives, uh, three and a half inch and under. Um, sometimes I carry them as a neck knife. Sometimes I just throw the sheath in all in my pocket. Or sometimes, uh, you know, like this one, um, I'll carry set up for a cross draw on my left front side. But since I have this in my hand, we'll start with this one. This is the Dan Tope Lucky 7. Comes with a very nice leather sheath. It also comes with an attachment that I can bolt on here for a regular vertical carry belt loop. Very nice leather sheath. The knife is a 3.5 inch clip point blade. 3V tool steel. A little thicker than an eighth inch. I think it might be 3 30 seconds. I'm not really sure. But uh, 3V steel, um, burlap micarta handles with black G10 pins. There's the profile for the handle. This one I can get all four fingers on. Barely, but I can do it. I wear a large size glove if that tells you anything. And I think, I'm not sure, but I think that Bark River makes these for Dan Tope. I couldn't swear to that though, so don't hold me to it. But a very nice little knife, very handy little cutter. Great for EDC or for out in the field. Next one I'll show you is the White River Backpacker Pro. The regular backpacker has skeletonized handles and you can paracord wrap it. <clears throat> the Pro comes with uh, G10 handles that are bolted on. Basically they have the same knife that they call the Caper which has handles which are bolted on. They come in usually G10 but I think they also have micarta. Comes in this really nice uh, Kydex sheath, set up for belt carry, but you can also run your cordage through the end and carry it as a neck knife. S35V steel, about a 3 inch blade, 8th inch stock. And the way this handle is designed with this deep choil right here, man this thing is so comfortable in the hand, you can really go to work on with this thing. Jimping is effective yet not painfully aggressive. I really like this knife. This is a really, really good one. It's one of my favorite as far as uh, you know, this size knife goes. Favorite to use anyways. Because I can get all four fingers on it. And it just, it, it's really, really comfortable in the hand. You can really get some work done with this. I really enjoy it. I have nothing bad to say about this one. This one you've seen last Friday. I did my... Uh, Petwood Friday with it, LT Wright, JRE Industries leather sheath like they always come, uh, 2.75 inch blade, 3V tool steel, 8th inch thick, very stout tip on it, Scandi grind, this is an ex excellent little carver, um, I don't, haven't done a lot of carving lately but I used to do a lot of carving <clears throat> and uh, I still if I get bored I'll pick up a stick and whittle on it or something and this knife is perfect for that. I can get all four fingers on it, which I really appreciate. Very sharp. LT rights all come with a very sharp spine, so you can do your ferro rod with it. It's a great little knife for firecraft, fine detail carving. Any of these make a great knife as a backup if you're carrying like a big 7, 8 inch or, or larger uh, chopper type knife. Carry one of these as a uh, backup for your fine details. They're excellent for that. <clears throat> this is a great little knife. Double red polished micarta handles. I believe that these are nickel silver pins, but I could be wrong. They might be aluminum, I don't know. Nice little knife anyways. Another LT Wright, JRE Industries sheath. This is the Patriot. This one is an 01 tool, tool steel. Same uh, eighth inch tool stock, uh, uh, blade stock. Um, I think this is about a two and a half inch blade. This is more of a three finger knife. If you jam them in, I can barely get my pinky on there, but it's it's a tight fit. It's really a three finger knife. But it's a good little uh, you know utility knife. You can do fine details with this. You can get your fire going with your ferro rod, make feather sticks, little notch. Um, great for EDC, opening packages or whatever. Polished burlap micarta handles with brass pins. Very good looking knife. One that I really enjoy too. Just a pretty little knife, and these knives really come in pretty handy for EDC, really. 
And then my last uh, little LT right. Again, JRE's leash, leather sheath. This one is an AEBL stainless steel. Same blade thickness. Uh, again, about a two and a half inch blade, roughly. This one has buckeye burl scales with copper pins and lanyard tube. Another little comfortable knife. This one is great, would be great for, you know, well, it's, it's Frontier Trapper. It's great for skin and small game, clean and small game. And again, you can feather stick, notch, light your fire with your ferro rod, with, scrape up bark, fat wood, whatever you need to. Great little knife. Three finger knife again, but still very comfortable in the hand. I probably should tie a lanyard, pinky lanyard on these little knives um, where I can only get three fingers on. That way I can tuck my finger in it and give me a little extra leverage. But, uh, but yeah, another another very comfortable little little blade. And we've got some couple tops. This one is the Tops 2.5 MSK Kydex Sheath. This one is a three inch blade. Uh, 1095 steel is most uh, most tops are they do a couple in 154 cm but most of them are uh, 1095 black micarta scales orange liner another three finger knife modified scandy grind another great little knife uh, you know I, at one time I didn't really have much use for small knives like this but I've over the last couple years I've really grown to like them and I've been carrying them more and more for uh, EDC and again as I mentioned back up for a large fixed blade like a companion knife or whatever but another very handy little knife uh, I really enjoy this one then one that I bought just to check out I'm really not all that thrilled with it the tracker style knife just isn't my thing I know a lot of people like them but for what I do with a knife eh, they're really not the best choice but very well made um, this little groove right here this little notch drag that across your wood and man it makes violet feather sticks like curls like you just wouldn't believe very tight curly cues uh, but other than that I really don't have a lot of use for it it's sharp it'll work for you know fe normal feather sticks normal cut and notch and be great for skin and small game but uh, I don't really do a lot of that anymore uh, black micarta handles again I think it's got blue liners it's got the desert tan coating on it it's an interesting knife but honestly it's really not my style maybe the bigger one I'd like more because I know that's really good for chopping but this little guy really really isn't my thing it's well made and everything I just uh, I took it out one day and haven't used it since and last but not least the good old Essie Azulu Azula 2 uh, plastic molded sheath, <clears throat> desert tan blade, 1095 steel, green micarta handles, 1095 steel, chimping is good. This one I can get four fingers on and my pinky tucks right in that little hole and just kind of locks it in. I like this one a lot. It's a good, very good one for uh, small carving. You, could, you know, any of these you could do s small kindlings, baton. Uh, feather sticks, whatever. Um, but another really good little knife. And all of these were made in the USA, every single one of them. So that's that's good. I actually made olive wood scales for this, but they didn't come out real good. I wasn't happy with them. They didn't match up with the tang well, so I never put them on. Well, I put them on and decided I didn't like them. Took them back off. I might try again, but honestly, the Macarta is just a better option. It's more grippy. On a little knife like this, you want to make sure you have a firm grip, and the micarta is just going to be better than wood. The wood looks pretty, but I think I'll just leave a micarta. But another great little knife. I usually carry this neck knife or in the pocket. But that's that's all I got for you for today. That's my small knife collection. Neck knife, in the pocket carry, or on the belt carry, however you want. That's all of them that I have so far. I don't know if I'll buy any more. I mean, that's eight of them there. And, uh, you know, they're not my most used knives, but uh, they are handy. I do enjoy them. I use them for EDC, I think, more than anything else. Except for that pronghorn. I'll be using that a lot for carving. That's a good, that's a good carver. 
Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a safe and blessed day. And uh, let's not forget about our veterans. 22 a day are committing suicide. Need to bring awareness to that problem. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Stay blessed.